of Andros from destruction, Tecna sacrifices herself and disappears into the Omega Dimension. Valtor has prevailed. What will become of the Winx Club without Tecna? Tecna was a great fairy. She was brave and selfless. She gave her life to save Andros. <laughs> No, I can't do this. It's not right. Come on to me. Hang in there. Keep going, girls. Her eyes. There was so much hope in her eyes. Yeah? And do you remember the times when she'd try to be funny? I wish I'd laughed more. Me too. Stop it. Techna's not gone. Timmy, Techna disappeared inside the Omega portal. The gate's closed forever. There's no way. No, you're wrong. Uh, All of you. Timmy. Let go of me. Uh, I'll go talk to him. <gasps> We're gonna miss you, Tecna. <laughs> gonna miss you like crazy! Timmy, you have to face reality. I know it's hard, but... Riven, you know how sometimes you can feel someone's magic vibe? Uh, yeah, I think. Well, I could always feel Tecna's real strongly, and I still can. Timmy... No, listen to me. If she were gone, there'd be a void, an emptiness, like all around me, but there isn't. I feel her. Tecna, I know you're alive, and I'm gonna find you, I promise. It's just not the same without Tecna. Maybe we should call it quits, you know, like disband the club? I hate to say this, but I agree. Me too. It's the right thing to do, guys. Yeah, but before we break it up, there's one more thing we have to do together. Pay back Valtor. Yeah, get rid of him for good. Well now, how is everybody doing? Not good, but we'll feel better after we pay Valtor a visit. Valtor needs to be stopped and punished, but you cannot strike in anger. It would be a terrible mistake. Do you expect us to just sit here after what he did to Tecna? No, but I can't risk losing all of you either. You will stay on campus until further notice. Tomorrow we'll hatch a plan. Hmm. Planet Oppositus. We're such opposites. We're perfect together. It's like we're made for each other. Oh. <gasps> oh. <gasps> halt! How dare you enter the palace of Appositus? Oh, I don't want to enter the palace. Hmm? Then come on in! <laughs> huh? 
all we are the same? How is that possible? It's all so bland around here. How are the girls? It's strange. Musa's playing sad songs, and Stella has been brushing her hair for more than an hour. Griselda doesn't know about our barrier buster. Everybody ready? Yeah. Then let's go teach Valtor a lesson. These Valtor branded witch chicks are starting to annoy me. They're so boring. I like them. They're fun to mess with. Attention, everyone! Valtor said to mix your jello with your mashed potatoes! <laughs> Stop messing with my minions! Enough about your precious minions! When are you going to show us some of those cool spells you've been stealing from other realms? Now, a positive power! Uh. Mm. Ah! You're so cute today. It's so nice to have friends yeah. like you. That is freaky. I see, sweetheart. Huh? I'd like to share something with you. I think I'm in love. <laughs> She's not like you, Icy. You might just be the perfect witch after all. I guess someone's no longer someone else's favorite. Later, goody goody. Yes, yeah, see ya. Oh. Everybody ready? Oh, you betcha. Enchantix. Enchantix. Oh. Witches, tell us where Valtor is. Stop, Stop it. intruders. Stop. Should we blast them? No, wait a second. They have absolutely no idea what they're doing. They're all under Valtor's spell. I can help huh? you. Stormy? Mm. Usually you'll find Valtor either in the headmistress's office or the sorcery lab. Traitor, traitor, traitor. Gosh golly, I was just trying to help. <laughs> She's not her usual self. <laughs> If I remember from our last visit, the sorcery lab is that way. Stella and Layla, go check it out. We'll take Griffin's office. <laughs> With the powers of all these worlds, I'll take magics in no time. Wrong. <laughs> Dragon Fury! You are powerful, Bloom. Just like Marion. What? 
Your birth mother, the Queen of Domino. My birth mother? How do you know about her? I defeated her. It looks like Valtor put his mark on everyone at Cloud Tower. Not everyone. Uh, Miss Griffin, we'll get you out of there. I don't think it's possible. I've tried all my magic to break it open, and I failed every time. Leave it to us. Ouchie! It's like a mirror spell. It bounces the magic right back at you. Let's try bending the bars. Your birth parents, Oratel and Marion, headed up the Company of Light, a group of wizards and warriors who fought to save the magic dimension. Magic base boom! I recently visited a planet where the magic was all about silence. Let me show you a little spell I took from them. <sighs> Luxurious Ivy! <sighs> For you, some magic from the cave dwellers of the Underrealm. They like total darkness. Uh. Uh. Not much can survive very long without light. Right? <laughs> so, do you want to fight, or do you want to hear about your parents? I'm listening. I met Marion and Oratel when I was a young wizard with the Coven of the Three Witches. I was their opponent during their final battle. First, I trapped Marion with a spell I'd learned from the rock cannibals of the Dark Dimension. King Oratel came to her rescue as I knew he would. Your birth father was very powerful. I never would have defeated him had he not lowered his guard to save your mother. Release the queen! No! Ah! No! Help me! And so it happened that while he was using his magic to save his beloved, I sent them both to oblivion. And that's how it ended for the king and queen of Domino. I'm glad I could share this story with you, Blue. Uh, Come on now, show me what you've got. Come on, do it for Domino. Do it for your parents, Oratel and Marion. Oppositors! Uh, and so goes Domino's last survivor, destroyed by her own magic. This calls for some fairy dust. I see you girls made progress. Yep. I remember when Farragonda first got her fairy dust. All my best spells became useless against her. Clever. You broke the Oppositor spell by applying your magic to the wall opposite the bars. Out of your cell without a hall pass, Griffin? Shame on you. Yeah, this calls for some serious discipline. You're right. And to start with, I'm ordering the two of you out of my school. This is our school now. I swave! I got this one. Yeah! Well, looks like you witches are done for. Look again. <laughs> Twister Fury. <laughs> hey, you're back. Yeah, I dreamt I was eating loads of jello and being disgustingly nice to people. I was so ashamed of myself. Yeah, you were acting like a dweeb, Stormy, but that's because Valtor spelled you. Well, now that I'm back, Let's get these losers and teach them a lesson. I'm still the headmistress here, and the only thing you're going to get is detention. Demerita! Awesome! Where'd they go? 
Oh, my punishment spell sent them to the detention dimension. Whoa, I sure wouldn't want to misbehave in this school. Now listen up. Write on the blackboard 600 ingredients that can be used in mayhem potions. This is humiliating. I'm not doing it. Me neither. An unauthorized portal. <gasps> When we found out you were missing, we figured you came here. Sorry, Miss Farragonda. We couldn't help but try to get payback. I really can't say I blame them. Valtor set himself up in my office. Bloom and the others are on their way over there right now. Well, it looks like the Company of Light is being called back into action. Let's go get Valtor. She won't last much longer! Not going to happen. Let's dust it! <laughs> this wind is too strong! I can't activate my fairy dust! <sighs> Me neither! Maybe if I shield you! Leave my girls alone! <clears throat> I'd say the Company of Light should now be called the Company of Mummies! <clears throat> <clears throat> Shield now! Come on, girls, do your thing! Let's just write this stuff down and get out of here. Ugh, no way. If you don't comply, your behavior will be reported to the head mistress. Oh no, that's so scary. I have an idea. Check this out. Duplication, illusion, and deception trick us free from this prison of detention. Okay, we finished our work. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Bye-bye, blackboard face! return to its original form, which was fire. So we'll have to duck, and fast. We can't hold the shield much longer. All right, the spell is about to break. <laughs> oh, the shield's gone. The spell's gone, too. <laughs> Take cover! Come on, let's get out of here. No, we have to finish him off for Tecna, for Marion, and Oratel. Not today, Bloom. Stella, can you move us? You... You'll pay for this! Transport us! Ah! Back home us! Here we are, Valtor. Stupid detention. <laughs> oh! ah. Sorry. Next time we'll write down the dumb ingredients, I promise you. There is only one place you can go to become stronger, Bloom. It is called Pyros. The Island of Dragons. The power you can acquire there is great. But the dangers are severe and your survival is far from certain. 
I don't care. Valtor killed my parents and took Tecna from us. It doesn't matter how hard Pyros is or how dangerous. If it will help me beat Valtor, I'll do it. Hmm. Valtor, you gotta chill. I cannot allow the heir to the throne of Domino to survive. Hey, how about we go get Bloom for you? Yeah, we can take that fairy on our own. Good, go, bring her here. Then we'll destroy her together. <laughs> you two take good care of one another, okay? If it's too scary on Pyros, you can always come back, right, Bloom? No, Lockett. I'm either going to come back strong enough to beat Valtor, or I won't come back at all. I'm ready, Miss Varagonda. Oh. Good luck, Bloom. I believe in you. Well, look what the cat dragged in. How's Diaspora? She is history. After you guys broke that spell, she was banished from Heraklion. We will never hear from her again. Hi. Where have you been, Brandon? No phone calls, no messages? I was locked up in an Heraklion prison all this time. If I could have, I would have called you. But I had to wait for Sky to get me out. He did? And then I rushed here right away. I feel so terrible about what happened. I have to apologize to all of you, and especially to Bloom. I have to make it up to her somehow. Well, Bloom's not here. She's gone. She went on an important mission. A mission? But where? And when is she coming back? She went to Pyros, the Island of Dragons. And it's not when she's coming back, Sky. It's if. Far from Althea, a new destiny is waiting for Bloom on the Island of Dragons. In a wild, dangerous world, Bloom will have to fight with all her strength. The challenge awaiting her is the hardest, and she will have to win it alone. If you're awake, there's a place for you. Meet a thousand friends to share your dreams and faith. If you're awake, you can never lose if you trust your heart.